Hey guys, welcome to today's review. And today I bring you a 2021 Buick Envision. This Envision, fully redesigned from the ground up, interior and exterior, absolutely zero resemblance of the previous generation. And so before I go any further, I am at Chelsea Buick Chevrolet here in Chelsea, Michigan. So please feel free to check out their dealership and inventory with the information that I provided in the description box. And so let's go ahead and get started. Start off with the key fob. This is the newer key fob that GM is going with. As you can see, it has the silver plating on the side here with the key or the actual physical keys in the inside of the key fob in case the key fob dies or the battery on the vehicle dies. And so, as you can see, it does have unlock and lock, remote start, power lift gate, and panic. In order to utilize remote start, you just lock the vehicle and double click the circular button. And the vehicle does start up. Now, as you can see, when you do start up the vehicle, the LED daytime running lights do come on. They aren't actually flickering in person. And your side marker lights do come on as well. And coming to the rear here, your side marker lights on the rear here do come on, as well as your LED tail lights do illuminate too. And I apologize for the vehicle being a little bit dirty, but that's not really gonna affect the video. And then to shut the vehicle off, all you need to do is just double click the same button again. And the vehicle does shut down. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the exterior lighting and we will take a thorough look at the exterior. All right, so starting with the front fascia here, again, fully redesigned, no resemblance of the previous generation, but we do have our full LED headlight set up right here with our high beam bulb right there, as well as our DRL that I mentioned that does act as your turning signals as well. I will turn on the high beams right now. All right, so your high beams are on. This is your high beam right there, of course. And coming to the front here, our huge Buick logo right here with the chrome that goes around the grill, as well as the chrome bars on the insides, as well as the scoops that are in the hood with the center line right here. Again, I apologize for the vehicle being not so clean, but again, it's not really gonna affect the video. And right here we do have our 18 inch wheel right here. You can get up to a 20 inch wheel on the Buick Envision. These are Continental tires as well, all seasons. Coming to our side mirrors, they are heated as well with our blind spot monitoring in the side mirrors. But we are missing turning signals on our side mirrors. And coming to all four doors, you can see we do have the passive entry system on all four doors right here. And tinted glass right here with the chrome surround that goes across the entire window with chrome roof rails as well. We are also missing the panoramic sunroof option as well capless fuel design as you can see right here this envision will run on regular grade gas and coming to the side here this is your led tail light and turning signal setup so as you can see your running lights are in the center here with your turning signal and brake light and your reverse lights are led as well and coming to the rear here right here fully just the whole new redesign. It just looks a way more sleeker. And then your backup camera, which is right here. Another huge Buick album right here. Your third wiper and your shark fin antenna up top. This is an all-wheel drive version. And your parking sensors on the rear here as well. And on the bottoms of the doors, you do have chrome accenting as well. With the uh, the black surround that goes throughout the entire exterior and the sides. So this is the new, the all new Envision. So that's what they had the introducing sticker on it for. So let's go ahead and take a look at the engine. All right. Now this is the 2 liter inline 4 cylinder engine. I will have the horsepower and torque specs in the annotations. Um, I was in a little bit of a hurry to get one of these reviews done on this Envision because these are selling uh, like crazy. So again 2 liter, 
The towing capacity of here, the towing package can tow up to 3,500 pounds. And when we take a look at the window sticker, we will go over the miles per gallon and fuel. There's a sticker up there for the engine, and you also have insulation as well. All right, so let's go ahead and check out the interior of the Envision. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lock the vehicle, placing the key fob in my pocket. As you can see, the doors are locked. So if I press the button once, the doors will unlock, all of them unlock, but pressing it again, it will lock the doors. Now, on, <clears throat> excuse me, on previous uh, Envision models, you press the button on the driver's door and only the driver's door will unlock, but it doesn't do that now. Um, that may be a setting you can change. I haven't really dove deep into this vehicle yet, but that may be a setting that you possibly could change. And underneath this cap right here, you can pop it off to access the lock underneath the cap right here in case your vehicle dies and you want to get into it. And look at this interior. This zero remnants of the previous generation and vision. I mean, everything in here is new from the ground up, design. I mean, switch gear is a little bit of the same, like the window switches and everything, but overall, whole new redesign and taking a look at our driver's seat here this is a 10-way power adjusting driver's seat with your four-way lumbar all right so let's go ahead and start the vehicle so, oop, that's not the uh, key. Hang on a second. That was the key for the Equinox, not the Envision, but here is the key for the Envision. So all you need to do is just make sure that the key is inside the vehicle. Apply the brake and press the engine start stop button to start the vehicle. And the vehicle does start right up, of course. So. I'm gonna start from left to right and we will go through the entire interior because this is a fully redesigned model. So starting right here, we do have our power door locks and our silver accents right here with this really nice, this is very smooth trim and it's very, it's not too shiny to where the light's gonna really reflect in your eyes like the sunlight, but it is very nice looking as well. As your power window switches, all four of them are auto down, but only the driver's side window. Now if we take a look really quick, you can see this actually is laminated glass for noise cancellation, but only the front two windows are auto up. And down here we do have our power liftgate controls, so you have maximum three and a quarters, and you can turn your liftgate off. And by pressing this, you can open and close your liftgate. Your gauge dimming control right here, as well as right here you do have your automatic headlights, so auto, parking lights, and headlights. Pressing this forward will, of course, activate your high beams. And that same trim on the door goes throughout the dashboard. And up here, this is uh, a little bit of a, it feels like leather, but it's a little bit hard, like it's very pressed up against the dashboard. But this is all nice soft touch right here. And this does have dual contrast white stitching. And that same material goes throughout the door panels. All this, those really soft leather with the same type of stitching and where your elbow is going to be resting. So really nice. Um, so far, I'm very impressed with the Envision. This is the first time I've ever been inside of a new Envision. So, and right here, your new turning signal, or the turning signal stock, but you have a new sound for the turning signals. Sounds like someone's tapping their finger on a piece of wood for the turning signals. Also, if you notice when I started the vehicle, you do have that new Chime GM made. Auto high beams right there, so your GM calls that their IntelliBeam system. And over here, you do have your variable speed wipers with your rear wiper controls on the end of the stock. And taking a look at the gauges, as you can see, you have two analog gauges with your digital uh, gauges down below for your fuel and heat and for the engine coolant temperature, but this all is digital right here. So really nice that it's controlled by this thumb pad right here. So you can go through, this shows your speed, fuel range and mileage, your distance driven, fuel economy, average speed, distance till empty, instant miles per gallon and oil life and tire pressure, air filter life, timer, uh, following distance, so if a vehicle's in front of you, it will show you how, um, in seconds, how far away you are from a vehicle. Battery voltage and just a blank page with an info page. Whatever you're listening to, 
built-in navigation, as well as phone, and your different settings like units, info page, home page, a speed warning. So if you want, if you set a speed warning to 75, it will not, uh, or you can't exceed 65, but it won't, uh, it'll chime at you basically to let you know that, hey, you've exceeded your speed limit. So remote relearn. So if you want to program another key fob to the vehicle, you can, and software information. And you can scroll back here. And over here, you do have your cruise control settings, of course, with your forward collision alert gap adjusting and a heated steering wheel right here as well. And your airbag and your horn. And the start stop button right here. And you have all leather down here. Again, same material like up here, but it does have the nice white stitching. Air vents right here, very sleek design air vents. I really like this and your hazard button. Down below we do have our climate control. You can turn climate on and off. It's a little hot in here, so I'm gonna turn that on, turn the fan speed up a little bit, but you do have tri-stage heated seats right here with these toggles for the driver and passenger. Air conditioning, rear defrost, maximum front defrost, the climate button, and you do have auto climate control as well. Recirculation, synchronize, and your dual zone climate right here for the different temperatures that driver and passenger can have as well as fan speed. USB type A and type C with a cigarette lighter right here. That opens and closes it right here. So pressing it, we'll close it. And then of course doing that again, we'll open it. This button right here turns your auto start stop on and off. So when you come to a stop, the vehicle will actually shut off to conserve gas. Hill descent control, which is quite different to see that or to see that on a Buick Envision um, what hill descent control is so if you're on a steep grade and you don't want to constantly be using your brakes the vehicle will actually mitigate a speed for you lane keeping assist so what that is is if the vehicle starts to drift out of its lane it will try to push you back into your lane and that heated steering wheel is starting to feel really nice I have that on trash control that can turn on and off and if you press and hold the button you can disable your stability track and your rear parking sense. So you can or you can turn that on and off. And this is a blank button right here. This is your new precision, or excuse me, precision shift shifter that GM has made. It was first debuted in the GMC terrain. Um, they have removed the traditional shifter, like the physical shifter. So as you can see, we are in park to engage drive, apply the brake, and to pull the toggle behind the D. Now you're in drive to go into reverse do the same thing and your rear vision backup camera does appear and the guidance lines do adjust when you turn your steering wheel pushing n for neutral and then to go into manual mode you first have to shift in, or first you have to shift into drive and then you press the m and you can use the paddle shifters mounted behind the steering wheel to shift the vehicle so you can see m1 or it's not letting me shift over first gear but i would say like m1 m2 m3 etc and then to go back into park just press the p and we now are in park, and as you heard, it makes a confirmation tone. Two cup holders right here with the silver rings that go across. Electronic parking brake to engage, pull the tab up, park brake set, and to disengage, apply the brake and to press down. Park brake release, that disengages it. And your mode selector, so you can see we have tour, all wheel drive, sport, and off-road mode. You would have a tow haul mode though if you did have the tow or tow and haul package. And to open your center console, this is very different. You don't actually lift up a lid. There's a button right here that you press and they open like two doors. And very deep storage in here as well with a little mat that you can take out. There is no illumination though, but that doesn't really affect the vehicle. And then to close it, just press the sides down. This is really soft leather right here. You'd be resting your arms or the elbows and you do have that dual row of white stitching. And down on the sides, do, or excuse me, down on the sides and this is a whole, cause this is the electronic shifter. You have a huge storage area right down here. And taking a look at our mirrors here, they are slowly illuminating mirrors. They weren't actually flickering in person, but they do that in the camera because of the frame rate. And I don't have a camera stabilizer, so if my camera is very shaky, I do apologize. Again, not flickering in person, but same setup, and you can actually remove them and slide them. 
OnStar up top right here, passenger airbag. You can turn your lights on and off if you don't want them to turn on when the vehicle uh, opens or when you open the door in the vehicle. Your lights, as you can see, they look like they're flickering on camera, but they're not. And you do have slowly illuminating lights, the map lights. You would have sunroof controls and garage home link controls, but this particular Envision being a preferred version, you don't have that. And you do have your automatic dimming rear view mirror right here, but on Avenir models, you would have a camera mirror where you could flip a tab back and it would show an augmented reality camera. All right, so let's go ahead and check out the rear seat of the Buick Envision. All right, so taking a look at the rear seat of the Envision, we do have again a silver accented door handle with that same type of trim right here and the chrome accent right there. And window switch with that same leather that goes across the door panel up here as well and a door lock right there. More storage in the doors as well with a cup holder and a speaker. And so on the sides here, this is where the, uh, there actually is like a leather portion. It's a leather and cloth mixture. So the headrests are leather, but the inserts of the seats are cloth, but this is leather on the side here. So stepping in, I have adjusted the seat to my seating position. I am 5'10", that's very average, so keep that in mind. The doors does shut with, um, it, it's very solid when you shut it, so that's a, very satisfying. And so I have, I'm going to adjust myself really quick here, and I have a good amount of room back here. Headroom, I have about four to five inches of headroom, and legroom, about three to four inches of legroom. So I still have lots of breathable room back here. My feet comfortably slide underneath the seat. You do have a USB type A and type C right here, and air vents back here as well. And this second seat or the second row right here does accommodate three people two adults comfortably but you can easily sit three children across as well as leather armrest right here and two cup holders you also have dual mat pockets right here in the rear as well and your seat backs are leather and you can adjust your headrest via the button right here and moving your headrest up and down and you do have handles with coat hooks on the sides here as well as LED illumination. So overall, the rear seat of the Buick Envision is a really nice place to be. You also do have seat belt adjusters as well for the front seats, as, um, so you don't have to, if you're of a different vertical stance, you can comfortably sit in the driver's or passenger seat. So let's go ahead and check out the cargo quarters of the Buick Envision. All right, so open or to open the rear lift gate of the Buick Envision, you can use the key fob, the button underneath, the button inside, or on higher end models, you would have a hands-free lift gate. A Buick logo would project on the ground, and you would just kick your foot through the logo, and it would open and close the lift gate. So I will have the uh, cargo space and the annotations as well, but taking a look in person, you have a really good amount of room for a Buick Envision. This is basically the same size as a Chevrolet Equinox, GMC Terrain, that type of size, so very comparable to those vehicles. But you do have LED illumination right here. That's not on because the lights are off, but that's on both sides as well as vents. And lifting this up, you do have your spare tire right here as well as the skid plates right here. They are of chrome accenting as well as cloth right here on the sides and the floor liner is cloth and these are 60 40 split folding seats so these handles right here push them on the sides and push the seats forward and you do get a flat load floor which is really nice and to close the lift gate you can use any previous method i previously mentioned or the button right there And your exhaust, you do have dual exhaust down below. As you can see, they are creating a water puddle. All right, so let's go ahead and check out the passenger side of the 2021 Buick Envision. All right, so again, power door lock controls right here with silver accents that handles and the silver accents right here. Excuse that truck. Um, and that same trim right here with the same leather material on the door panels and a power window switch. And right here you do have your six-way manual adjusting seat with sliding, reclining, and height adjusting. 
and climbing on in. I'll adjust my seat to how I like it so I can give an honest opinion on how I feel in here. And the screen is a little bit directed towards more the driver, but it really isn't, um, like it's not, like, it's not that bad at all. Like you can easily control what you need to control right here. It's supposed to be more driver oriented. Um, similar with the C8 Corvette, if you've seen that interior, the screen is more directed towards the driver. So it's supposed to feel more driver friendly, basically. And they've done a really good job in this interior. Bravo Buick, you've done, you've outdone yourself with this vehicle. And so checking out the glove box, you have a really good size in here and the lug nuts and whatever else the dealership gives you as long with the or, uh, along with the owner's manual and more storage in the doors right here as well with your grip handle right here and that same material does come along this door panel with a lock and you do have bluetooth microphones around the cabin so you can be heard clearly all right So I almost forgot about this. Don't, this isn't really flickering in person. If you see how like it's flickering on camera, it's not really flickering. This is because the lights are LED. Um, I almost forgot to go over this, my bad. But you have audio, phone, Wi-Fi, hotspot, and users. What users is, you can actually program a specific profile for you. Um, so it can be personalized to your discretion. You can custom tailor a profile to yourself. Uh, let me go home. There we go. And Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, those are wireless for the 2021 versions. Applications, OnStar, air quality, we'll see what air quality, oh, you have good air quality. So it'll let you know if you have good air quality. Climate, you can't control that with the screen here. As you can see, the numbers down below would change. Auto, recirculation sync, just all, whatever you have down here, you can also control with the screen. Sirius XM, NCAA, and my Buick. So let's check out settings. Or wait, we already did settings. Let's check out apps. So we have audio apps, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Air Quality, My Buick Phone, all that. And then vehicle, buckle to drive. So buckling to drive can prevent shifting out of park when the driver and if applicable, the front passenger seatbelt is not buckled. So we'll turn that on and see. Let's try to shift out of drive. Buckle seatbelt to shift. It's not letting me shift, so let me buckle my seatbelt and see what it does. So, yep, let me see if I unbuckle my seatbelt, though. It doesn't go back into park. But that is buckle to drive. Rear seat reminder, so if you have a child or a bag in the back seat, so if the rear doors are open 15 minutes before or during a trip, it will let you know when you shut the vehicle off. Comfort and convenience. Teen driver, so you can program a specific key fob to have restrictions on the vehicle so it won't go over certain speed, a speed warning, audio limit, etc. And also has a report card on how fast they went and a bunch of other things. As well as valet mode, and that won't let the valet driver access any software information that you don't want them to have. So they can't go through all your stuff on your screen. And so that is the Infotainment 3 system right here. And this is a huge screen, by the way. I will have the screen size and the annotations. Again, I wanted to get a review done on this vehicle before it's sold because these are, again, in semi-high demand. And that same trim goes across the screen. All right, so let's go ahead and shut the Envision down. And there is the rear seat reminder. All right, so if you found this video somewhat informative of this Buick Envision, please consider subscribing and or liking. Thank you very much for watching.